All right, well, hey, welcome to the woods. I'm in the forest here in a part of central Virginia, and what I want to do today is to give you a method of evaluating tree frog populations, and this is going to be useful in a study that we're getting ready to begin here um, in the biology department, biology and chemistry department at Liberty University, uh, specifically studying population dynamics, in this case, uh, the gray tree frog, Hyla versicolor, that's common in this part of Virginia. Um, so what I'm doing today is to show you an evaluation approach to that and how to set it up, specifically the use of a PVC pipe, uh, which we call a refugia, uh, or a tree frog refuge in this case, and different ways to, to approach this, different sizes of pipes, different entrances to the pipe habitat. But what we're trying to do is mirror what we might see in nature. And you can get a sense of that back in climbing here. There's a tree here, a dead decaying tree with cavities at the side, cavities on top, and different places that not just frogs, maybe raccoons, mammals of diverse, maybe owls, uh, bats, different organisms that would take up residence in those cavities. Now we're in a, a stand of mixed hardwoods here. Um, <clears throat> this maple next to you here. We also have back behind me a completed refuge that I've already set up so you can see a finished product on this cedar tree back here with a side entrance, a top entrance, and it's capped on the base. And the reason for that is to allow some water to pool up. Some frogs have been found to, to enjoy that kind of a habitat. There's also a hole placed on the side to allow some drainage about a third of the way up that pipe. So you can also evaluate the dynamics among different tree species as well. Um, in that kind of a study. So the, the you know, mixed pine, if that came into play with some of these habitats, which it is around here, that might be very important. So specifically, you know, how do we set this up? <clears throat> you know, the studies that are out there, a lot of them place these pipes about two meters up of, off the forest floor. Some of these also, and we could have shown this as well, where they have a pipe that's actually in the ground itself, around an aquatic um, habitat. I have a stream back behind me. This is going to be employed around two pond habitats um, near campus, one with more trees than another, both of which have been known to have egg masses, tree frog presence, um, in the springtime. So this is simple. You can buy these in two foot sections already pre-cut at any kind of a hardware store. This is a one inch in diameter uh, pipe by two feet in length and I'm, I've opted to cap the base of this one here. Some of them though will be left completely open so the frog can go all the way through if it so desires. This one I have a T-top type entrance, so two access points like it might find in a natural tree cavity, multiple entrances. So a lot of those may be not as deep as this is, but it provides an opportunity uh, for the frog to explore and come down to the forest floor and have a place to hide out. And so I'm going to place it up here in the tree. I'm going to turn it sideways just so you can see the entrance. <clears throat> it would be nice if it was hugging all the way against the tree. And so what I'd probably come back and do with the ladder is put a put another bungee cord, which is what I'm using here, or some type of rope to tie it, but probably a bungee cord up against the side of the tree. Um, so it hugs that. So it might find more of a, an easy entrance for a frog. But in the spring and the summertime, these frogs, you'll hear them up in the treetops and then they come down at the night and they're feeding up there as well. So I said, it's a very simple way to, to set up a, 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 an evaluation system of a population of frogs in this case. Some extensions that I'll explore off of this would be, you know, how do we actually mark the organisms? So using elastomer injections or radio tracking tags as well as you know how do we survey and sample the plant diversity and some ways to approach that so thanks for listening